just a quick reminder before the video starts join the discord server it's in the link in the description and let's get into the video hello this is the second video in my tutorial little tutorial series thing first video if you haven't watched it give it a watch because we're going to be going over things in this video that you're going to need to know from last video so it's in the link is in the description you can just click on it and it'll open it up you can watch it also thumbnail is right up here and let's begin into this video which is going to be all about functions and what the heck functions even are so I'm, actually i'm going to blow this up a little bit more hope you guys hope you guys can see that a little bit better so what is a function well function is sort of like it'll take this code it's like a chunk of code all condensed into one thing it'll probably be easier if i type it out for you so to make a function you type local function and then name your function uh what do we call this uh make stuff happen all right and then click enter at the end of it, the line and it'll add this end here so what it does is it'll take whatever codes inside of here in between this and this and it will run it well it won't run it you have to call it we'll go into that later but that's all you need to know for now so let's go ahead and copy that and let's paste it right here and so what the script does, once again, we did this in last video, but it changes the properties of this script right of this part right here, and it will make stuff happen. <laughs> so let's go ahead and click play. And what it should do is it should change the properties of it. Wait for it to load. Alright. And wait, it didn't change. Well, that's because to actually make the function run, you have to actually type out at the end of it, make, you have to type the function name, which is this right here. So you're going to write make, and then what's it called? Make stuff happen. So make stuff happen, and once again, you can press enter tab to autofill. And so what will happen now is it will, it knows this function. It knows that when this, when this is set, said down here, this it want, it's going to run this code right here it'll make more sense the more you use them so let's go ahead and click play and this time it'll actually change the properties of that one part and yep see it changed the part it knew what it knew that when i said make stuff happen when i said when i called this function it i want i wanted the code or I wanted the game to run this bit of code. Now, this little example is not probably not the most interesting, and it probably doesn't make much sense. Like, why would you actually need to use functions? Why can't you just write this code out like normal? Well, you might want to do it like um, if you want to create a new part. Like, if you want to add a, a hundred parts into the workspace, or you're like maybe you're making a game with meteors and you wanted a hundred meteors to fall from the sky. Well, you don't want to write out all the code to make the meteor fall like a hundred times. You would just want to call a function. So actually, let's go ahead and do that right now. You don't need to know what this code means. Um, what, but basically what it does is it will instance a new part. It'll create a new part into the workspace. So lo so we're just gonna type local and then my part equals instance dot new and then part. So you don't need to understand it, totally what this means. All, it, all it's doing is it creates a new variable, local my part, and then it will instance a new part. It'll create a new part. And once again, a part is just right here. It's right there. So it'll do that. And then you need to type my part dot parent equals game dot workspace. And actually, to give you a bit more practice with uh, variables and such, I want you to try and create your own variable for game.workspace. All right, so you can pause the video here and you can try and do that by yourself. All right, you done? All right, so how, how you actually do that is you're gonna type local, yeah, local, sorry, local, and then we can just call this workspace. And that's the variable name. Don't worry if it highlights it blue. Some like instead of just having it like this, it's like such a well-known variable that it highlights it. 
but local workspace equals game, which is all of this once again, and then dot, and then workspace because we're finding this. If we wanted to find uh, starter GUI, we would type game dot starter GUI, but we want to find game dot workspace, so we're going to type game dot workspace and press tab. And so instead of type typing this, we can just type our variable that we made, workspace. And then, so what this will do, we're actually going to have to move this because the part's going to spawn at the game's origin, which is right there. So this will cover it up, but we're going to click play. And once again, we're going to have to wait for it to load. And as you can see here, a new part was created. Now, once again, that is not really that interesting. Like there's, why, why do we need to make a function for that? Why can't we just write this? Well, what if we wanted to make like our previous example, like a hundred meteors fall from the sky? Well, we're not, we don't want to write this a hundred times. What we're going to want to do is type this and just call the function a hundred times. I'm not going to actually type it out a hundred times because that's going to take way too long. But just for example's sake, we're just going to type it out a few times. And then this should make, uh, how, I don't even know how many that is, uh, eight parts. We want, we're going to make create eight new parts. And yep, they're all stacked up right here. So we can knock those over. We can have fun with that. But that is basically what functions are. We're going to go over them in the next few videos. But for now, that's just the basics of functions. If you want, you can mess around with it. Like maybe try and make your own game. Like uh, maybe you want the parts to, like, I don't know, have fun with it. Try it. Just be creative. Do something with it. And that's really all for this video. We're going to go over this next video. Should be out in the next couple days. Uh, goodbye.